105.1. Catching cheaters. Damn. With the War of the Roses. Carrie, you said you've only been dating your boyfriend a short time in our message. Uh, what's mm-hmm. going on that makes you think he's cheating on you already? Two months, I think you uh, said. I just... Yeah, I don't think he's married or anything, but I do think that there's something going on because, you know, like in those two months, we spent way too much time together for him to be married. But I do think that, you know, there might be someone else because... He was supposed to take me out for my birthday. Like, he made a big deal of it and everything. And then last minute, like, the night of, he called and was like, oh, sorry, I can't make it. And I was like, oh, baby, what's wrong? Are you okay? He just hung up on me. Whoa. But then he just texts me immediately saying, oh, it, it's real busy at work. Um, don't call right now. I'll call you later. Sorry. Yeah, and now that does sound shady that he's like, don't call me right now. That sounds like yeah, maybe he was with he's someone. he's hiding something. Or he was no. with them. Exactly. Now, with only being two months, are you sure you two are exclusive? I mean, we talked about it a little bit, and he said that I'm the only one for him and that I'm perfect for him and how I get him so much, which, you know, I'm, I'm, aren't I supposed to believe that when he said yeah, it? Yeah, and, you are. But, you know, at the same time, I guess, I don't know. It's only been two months. I just want to find out, you know. It's like he works as a third shifter at a call center, so when he's like, oh, don't call me, I kind of can understand that. All <laughs> right. Well, let's call him. Now, it's the middle of the day. He's a third shifter. Is he even going to answer? I mean, you might have to call him more than once, but he will eventually pick up. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Is this Paul? Yeah. Did I catch you at a bad time, hey. Paul? Uh, why you guys? You guys keep calling me. Just stop calling. Oh, actually, Paul, don't hang up. I have some good news. I know we called you a bunch of times, but I'm glad you finally answered. Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm sleeping. I work at I work nights. What's up? Okay, well, uh, my name is Sarah. I'm calling from Flowers for you. Uh, I actually have your name and number here as the winner of our monthly. Uh, Instagram tag contest. So one of your friends tagged you in our post and we randomly picked your name to get a hundred dollars in beautiful free red roses. Do you have someone in mind that you'd like to call, uh, that you'd like to send them to? Uh, wait. Sorry. I know I'm uh, catching you at a bad time. You're just waking up and all. Yeah, but no, I just need, I mean, this is, uh, it'll I just take a I'm moment. Just, just give me a second. Give sure. me a second. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, not not with it, right? I'm just, no, that's just okay. Up here, but um, yeah. Uh, so I can send it to anyone. Yeah. Do you have someone in mind that you'd like to send beautiful romantic roses to? Sure. Yeah. Um, you can send it off to. Um, it's it's Heather. Okay, and I have a card to go with these roses as well. Would you like to put something on the card? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's great, actually. Um, if you could write, uh, uh, love you, babe. Glad we're back on track. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was someone else. How could you lie to me like that? Paul, does that voice sound familiar? I know you're half awake, but... Yeah, sorry, it's not Heather. Guess who... Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, slightly. No, um, meant, what what uh, the f- Paul, you are on the Manny Royal Red Morning Show on War of the Roses. We catch cheaters. No, I I meant I meant I'm I'm sorry. I meant to say Carrie. I was I was uh, I'm right, just waking up here. Right. Um, I don't think that you can say that. Carrie and Heather do not sound anything alike. Yeah, but you, uh, you know how it is when you're waking up. It's it's uh it's just, You call out other women's names? I mean, I that's never happened when cr- we've been together. I would have corrected it. I would have corrected it when before uh, when I was when I uh, when I was to give the address or something. I would have remembered that I was saying the wrong name. Why are you and Heather Please. back on track, Paul? What yeah. was it that was going yeah. on? Because I'm not buying any of your nonsense. So let's just cut through it. Jesus. Uh, I so Heather and I uh, we've been dating for a year and a half now, and um, oh my god, things were going. Yeah, Carrie, I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, this, you're it was a piece of it f- thing that Ooh. was going sour. 
for a while. So what you're saying is when things went bad in your relationship, you just got on Bumble. Is this a, is this a trend? This is something you do whenever something's not going good? Uh, I didn't think it was. I, I thought we were coming to an end. So I, I, no, this is not. Oh, so you didn't I know end do, it. You just decided to get on a dating site. Like, I don't believe you. But not to mention, dude, when were you going to tell Carrie? Like, you were just going to let her hang out to dry? You canceled on my birthday. Are Paul, you were you with you Heather at that, that point? I, you must have been. Why wouldn't you want me to call if you weren't with your woman? Yeah, I was. I was with her, but I. It, it was my birthday. We have plans. It said you went back to your other Carrie woman instead. Yeah, I mean, but you know, Carrie, at least you, I mean, you were only dating two months. At least we can get rid of this jerk, right? Well, yeah, back to Bumble for me. Are you yeah. kidding me? Think your mate is messing around? Let's do War of the Roses. Presented by Platinum Hair Bar. Email us, mornings at kiss951.com. Coming up next with the Manny Roy and Loren Show. Don't fall asleep. Yeah, you might not get the one thousand dollars that's coming your way at eight a.m. this morning. We're going to do that for you in the thousand dollar kiss cash code. Plus, on a completely separate War of the Roses note, we got an email from a guy we busted on War of the Roses a while ago, and I want to read it to you. Oh, okay. All right, coming up.